G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So, we've just ticked over a new year, it is now 2019, and whilst I'm not a big believer in New Year's resolutions per se, I am a big believer in having goals, uh, measuring your success against those goals and using them as a motivating force in your life. So, this episode I'm going to be talking about my personal journey and how it's been going over the last 12 months, and what my goals are for 2019. Uh, but first we've got to get through an intro. So, 2018 and 2019. Uh, before we jump into it, if this is your first time joining me on the channel, thank you very much. If you get any uh, use out of this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, uh, or hit me up on social media, uh, both Facebook and Instagram, uh, Perfecting Pete, and I'll throw it up on the screen. So, um, just to, uh, to start with, I wanted to take quick stock of 2018. Um, you know, it was a it was a big year. It was a it was a huge year, to be honest, uh, for me on a personal level, on uh, both my weight loss and fitness journey, uh, in my personal life, in my work life. It was just all round. You know, taking stock. 2018 was huge. Uh, it had some ups and downs. Um, you know, the ups were my my weight loss and, and fitness journey and this YouTube channel and everything that's come with it. Um, some of the downs. Uh, you know. There was, it was a pretty tough year at times, um, some big changes, but you get that on the big jobs, and I'm very much looking forward to 2019. Uh, but before I kind of kiss goodbye to the year that was, uh, I, I really just wanted to take this opportunity to take stock um, of my weight loss and fitness journey, um, and, and this YouTube channel, to be honest. It was, you know, it's the first year on YouTube, uh, 2018. I launched the channel somewhere around February or March, uh, and I, I've got to say, I didn't expect the response I got. Now, it's not like it's gone viral or anything, but I'm, I'm really, um, I'm proud and I am very thankful to everyone that watches the channel. Um, you know, if I look at my stats, I've posted 29 videos in 2018. Uh, there's something, a little over 700 hours of watch time on this channel, meaning that you know, some, I mean, a, you know, a bunch of poor buggers have been sitting there listening to me yammer on about weight loss and fitness for a combined 700 hours in a, in, you know, in less than a 12 month period. That to me is mind blowing. And I can't thank you enough for the support that represents. Um, about seven and a half thousand views and uh, all up. And I've just ticked over a hundred subscribers. So uh, again, a huge thank you for, um, you know, giving me the motivation to keep making these videos. Uh, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Uh, in terms of the rest of the year, I, you know, I obviously I started my weight loss journey on Boxing Day 2017. So just before the, the start of 2018, uh, I feel like I've spent the year building a much better relationship with food. Uh, certainly a much better understanding of, of food, diet, exercise, how it tracks against weight loss, how the body works, how you process food, various different types of diet, uh, what you can do to help you know aid the weight loss process. Um, I started intermittent fasting. Um, you know, I just feel like I've, I've, uh, I've developed a much better relationship with food. And one of the key ways I did that, honestly, is by tracking what I ate. So um, I'm, you know, I've been using the Lose It app. I've just ticked over, well, uh, Boxing Day uh, in 2018, I ticked over 365 days of continuously tracking my food. So uh, for the entire year, everything that went into my mouth and my stomach uh, was tracked in that app. And I really think that's that's crucially important to understanding uh, or getting developing a better relationship with food. Um, the other thing I've, I've learned a lot over the last 12 months is just how much bullshit there is in the weight loss and fitness industry. The amount of snake oil on the market, uh, the amount of magic pills and magic powders that promise you instant results and effortless weight loss and you know all that junk um, down to you know and, and it's across the spectrum. You know the the tricks and the trials and tribulations of joining a gym and then getting back out of it, for example. Um, there is so much bullshit in this industry, uh, in the weight loss and fitness industry, and it and it really does. I feel like it preys on people who are vulnerable, who want to make a positive change in their life, and who are desperate to find assistance. Um, so, you know, it's not like this channel is going to have a huge impact on on anything really, but if it shines just a modicum of light on some of that bullshit, um, then I feel like it was worth starting the channel. To be honest. 
Uh, and finally, I just wanted to, to, you know, to look at the results. Um, in, in, the outcome really was weight loss. It was focused on weight loss. Uh, it still is. Uh, and in the time uh, I've been on YouTube, I have lost a total of 23 kilos. Uh, so I started at 111 kilograms on Boxing Day 2017. Uh, and on Boxing Day 2018, uh, last week, I was, oh, geez, it's almost two weeks, I think now, uh, I was 88 kilos. So I hadn't quite hit my goal. My goal was 82 kilos, um, but, you know, 23 kilos, I'm, I'm really happy. Now it, it went, it was a little bit more than that. It's, it kind of petered um, or, or teetered up and down a little bit. I've been on a bit of a weight loss roller coaster, but that's because of decisions I'm making with my diet and, and, and uh, fitness. So I'm now conscious of the consequences of my choices and uh, I'm, I'm responsible for them. So, you know, that's it for 2018. I'm, I have to say, I'm really happy with the weight loss outcome. I'm really happy with uh, the channel. And again, thank you so much for your support throughout the year. So on to 2019, whole new year, whole new set of goals. Well, you know, so maybe some, some evolution of uh, existing goals. So um, I really want to push down to 82 kilos. That's my target weight. I don't know why. It is literally a number I pulled out of my ass. Um, happens to be the year I was born. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's as, it's as relevant as any other statement I could make around why 82 kilos. Uh, to be honest, one of the things that really pushed me to start uh, my weight loss journey was the fact that, you know, an application and a doctor and anyone else who subscribes to the, the what I've already said is the bullshit BMI index as a uh, measure of fitness and health, I was obese. Um, you know, according to that index, I was obese. Now, I, I've, got to, I've got to preface, well, sorry, I have to modify when I say that BMI is bullshit as an index, I'm saying that it's not the be all and end all, and that it does not take into account uh, a lot of cases. If you are extremely muscular, uh, you know, your BMI might actually say that you're obese when in fact, you know, you're Arnold Schwarzenegger or whatever. Um, you know, you could be ripped and you fall off that scale pretty quickly. But um, to be honest, I took it to heart. I was, I was medically obese. Um, that, that was a really horrendous thing. Uh, I was pre-diabetic, I, you know, my parents have diabetes, or at least one of them does. Um, I wanted to make sure I didn't follow in, 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 you know, I didn't end up having to deal with that as well. So, um, you know, 23 kilos is a, is a big weight loss. Uh, I'm now in, I'm still considered overweight on that index. Uh, at 82 kilos, I'm right on that border between overweight and normal, normal. Um, so really that's the target weight. The reality is I'll probably never hit it. I don't care. It's still a goal, um, you know, my, dropping my body weight, uh, sorry, my body fat percentage is a more important goal. It's a better measure of weight loss uh, and it doesn't force me to try and hit a magical weight target, um, you know, at the expense of bulking up, for example. In any case, sorry, keeping it brief, goals, 82 kilos, still on my agenda for 2019. Um, this year I need to hit the gym. I, I must hit the gym. The reality is whilst a lot, most of weight loss sits in the kitchen, not the gym, uh, really I want to hit that next stage. Uh, I'm going after a feeling and that feeling's only going to come from sweat, hopefully not blood, maybe some tears. I'm cool with that. Um, but, but you know, I need to hit the gym. So that is going to happen in 2019 and not just hit the gym. I need to hit it regularly. So there's my second goal for 2019. Uh, my third goal relates to the channel. Uh, I really would like to hit 200 subscribers. I'm at 101 as of today, uh, and I would like to be able to, to really just, to, to me, subscribers is only about measuring how many people are hitting this channel on a regular basis. How many opportunities do I have to maybe motivate someone else to get out there, to get off that couch and stop resembling it, to get out there and, and, and really start or continue their weight loss and fitness journey. To me, that's, that's really what that subscription count is measuring. So uh, I would like to hit 200. Um, we'll see how we go. In terms of how I'm gonna get there, I really do need to put some more videos out there. Life is hopefully starting to settle down a little bit. So I'd like to be putting more regular videos on this channel. Uh, I'd like to do some more blogs. They seem to get a pretty positive response, uh, a little bit more intimate and personal. Um, and I'd also like to take some deep dives into some, some specific topics I think are interesting and I think would be useful uh, to anyone watching this stuff on the internet. Uh, and probably one of my bigger goals uh, is to deal with the hypocrisy uh, that is uh, my life. Um, I am, you know, I need to stop smoking. 
it's it is hypocritical for me to be doing a, a health and weight loss channel in my opinion uh, and still be smoking i've had too many people surprised you know oh my god what do you mean you smoke you, you're running a youtube channel about you know fitness health weight loss it is hypocritical i need to deal with that and you know i might actually do a video on that it will be a very personal video but i will talk about that now i do have a little bit of a head start on quitting smoking uh, i quit the day before christmas um you know, we'll see how that goes. It's it's really early days. If you've ever been, you know, if you're a smoker, if you've been a long-term smoker like I have, uh, you don't measure this sort of shit in weeks or months. You measure it in years. So we'll see how that plays out. And um, as a friend reminded me, uh, and thank you very much, uh, the last goal for 2019 is to be happy. Um, you know, I, I want to focus on that a little bit too. And it's all mixed in with all the stuff that we talk about on this channel. So. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas. Um, you know, I would encourage you, rather than look at resolutions, those promises that you make at the start of a year and then depress the shit out of yourself if you break, um, use New Year's in this kind of period, then towards the end of the holidays before we all go back to work, to take stock of the year that was, look at it with uh, pragmatic glasses on. Um, you know, it's already happened, you can't go back and revisit the past. Don't focus too much on the negativity, focus on the positivity. What can you do? What can you take out of 2018 and improve upon, build upon, continue uh, into 2019? Set yourself some goals. Goals, not promises. Set yourself some goals. Aim for the stars, you'll probably hit the moon. All that cliche bullshit. Honestly, set some goals. That would be my advice uh, in this video. Um, hopefully you'll join me for 2019 on this channel. Uh, hopefully you got some use out of this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to see regular videos on my own weight loss journey and all the tips and tricks I pick up along the way. Um, uh, hit me up on Facebook, drop a comment on YouTube, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, they're my two social media channels. They are identical, pick one or the other, don't do both, because why? Um, and hopefully you'll join me on this journey for 2019. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Until then, take care, uh, safe holidays for the rest of it, and we'll see you soon.